Hi, I am Mark Byrne. I am Market and Nominations Executive at Valley Lynch Stud. I've been working here for 13 months and my function here is very different from day to day. Mostly my function is selling nominations for the stallions and marketing. A typical day could consist of absolutely everything. Um, we could be having visitors, doing meetings, trying to just ring people, check on their phones, check on everything, and then it could be going to the sales, going racing, anything involved. Okay, well the process of stallions we do it in a way that they'll show themselves off the best and that they complement each other. So the whole exercise is that they show themselves very well to any prospective clients. And the stallions we have here, I suppose the kingpin at the moment would be Lope de Vega. He's after just siring his third group one winner last weekend and he sends for 50,000 euros so he's possibly one of the most exciting stallions in Europe. And next to that we have Lawman who sired five group one winners at this stage who is an immense stallion and four of which are, are top class milers. And after that we have Make Believe who was a dual group one winner. He broke the track record over seven furlongs in Longchamp and also won the French 2000 guineas. And, and his first foes are on the ground and they're creating quite a stir. After that we have the new season sires, which is Nube, who also won the Prix de Jockey Club. He's the third Prix de Jockey Club st um, stallion we have standing here. And then we have Fascinating Rock, who we own in conjunction with Newtown and our stud in County Tipperary. Um, he's a dual Group 1 winner as well. and he, the, All stallions are luckily very um, popular. The final stallion we have in our roster is a National Hunt stallion, um, a sire called Beat Hollow, who's having our first bred crop of Ballylinch horses, who are four now at the moment, hit the track. So it's exciting time all the way around. Ooh, the highlight of the job so far. Seeing the foal has been such quality is definitely a massive plus, but um, there's many different aspects. So from breeding season, there's a, getting good mares in and, and, and seeing great foals. Um, then you're going to be racing throughout the year. We're lucky enough to have a lot of runners here. And then going to the sales and buying and selling some top class horses as well. A lot of highlights throughout the year. The biggest influence in my career so far would be a man called Roy O'Quillan is the man who got me into racing. Um, and I suppose working every day with John O'Connor for the last 13 months has been a massive influence as well. To be nominated for the Godolphin Stud and Stable Staff Awards is a massive honour. Even if you look at the calibre of horse people around here on this farm alone, it's, it's just an amazing honour. Um, and then to be nominated in the category of newcomer where I'm sure there's thousands of applicants, it's just a real privilege. Hi, I'm Sarah McCrory and I'm head girl here at Ted Walsh's in Kale County Kildare. I've been here since I did transition year, which was about five years ago. Um, I started coming weekends, uh, school holidays, any time, any chance I could get I'd come in. And I started full time then in June of 2014. And I went and did the National Stud course last year and I've been back here since January. I always watched racing when I was young and just it was always something I wanted to do and once I started once I started coming here in transition year I kind of got booked for it. I suppose it's a passion as well. I just love every minute of it and mainly I suppose looking after every horse and getting to know them and going racing, uh, riding out, uh, basically everything that I do here I really enjoy. The biggest influence in my career so far um, well, I suppose my mum has uh, supported me through everything. Um, uh, Ted and Katie here have been very good. Everyone here has been very good to me and um, supporting everything and encouraged me to do everything I've done, uh, riding the charity race in Punchestown, and um, go off and do the Irish National Stud course last year. Just, I suppose everyone here now has been a big influence on my career. Everyone gets on and the atmosphere here is always good. Like, there's never, there's, Everything, like, there's always a bit of fun as well. To be nominated for the Godolphin Stable Awards is amazing. Like it's, I, when I found out that I had been nominated, I was delighted, and when I found out that I had made it into the top three in my category, it was brilliant. Um, I suppose it's for my confidence alone. Like it's, it's brilliant, um, and it'll be a great bonus for everyone here as well. Without the good staff, uh, you're only as good as the people that are working for you because you can't, you can't keep an eye on everything and uh, they, you trust them and they're great people. I mean, they've given a new sort of like an Academy Awards at the end of the year. And it's a wonderful thing. They look forward to it, terrific prizes. And it must be great for their esteem as well, to self-esteem to win a prize like this. Uh, huge and a great thank you to everybody concerned, in particular Sheikh Mohammed. Hi, my name is Patrick Murray and I'm a full-time groom and X-Ride rider here at Dermot Wells, Roswell House. 
I'm working here just short of four years. I started riding ponies in Dublin, in Clondalkin, and from there I went to Cherry Orchard Equine Centre. From there I went on and joined race then. After about three months I was sent out here on work experience and I worked here up till I finished the Carson race and then I was offered the job here for full time so I was only delighted to take it on anyway. I love riding now, it's something different every day with the horses. Like it could be riding work, it could be going to school and it's all different. Like, um, racing, going racing as well is great, like, especially when you lead in a winner. Especially on the big days or even just being involved in something on the big days, it's great. It's great to be a part of them. We're like a big, big family here and I know that we do a lot of slagging with each other and that and grand, but we're like, we're like a family and we're always there for each other. And especially the girls in the office, they're, they're, they're one of a kind. Like Martina up there now, I call her mammy, like she's, she's an absolute gem and yeah, she, she's helped me a lot now. It's a, it's a great place to work now. I looked after the dual derby winner, Harzant. He, um, he won the Epsom derby and then the Irish derby a couple of weeks after. Um, I looked after, he was a privilege, it was a great horse to look after. I looked after his brother here, Harry Parr, who second first time out to Sir John Lavery and Garl. Yes, for your very short time, lucky to get Harazan to look after. Uh, did an excellent job with the horse and the proof of the pudding is in the eating and the confidence that he has, I think it was reflected in Harazan with the confidence he showed winning his two derbies. And uh, yeah, top class young guy. Uh, the boss, he's, I can't thank him enough for the opportunities and the responsibility he gave me with that horse, like my first time ever being in England and then bringing over a horse to, to run in the derby. Like it's, he had trust in me and it was a great thing to have and I, I can't thank him enough, it was, it was brilliant. My biggest influence in my career would be Pat Mullen and Robbie McNamara. But Pat Mullen for his, his help and his, his advice to help me grow throughout, like it's, it's been, he's been such a gentleman and he, like, when you're coming in here and you're the likes of Pat Mullen, like, he, he's like a god to some people. Like, he, he's very down to earth and he helped you a lot. Same with Robbie McNamara, he's just, the boss told me, he says just look how, how Robbie rides, he's a very tall lad and he, um, he can get, make himself look so small on a horse like and for his drive and determination even to now like it's it's it's, it's very good now and that has installed in me so it's very good. To be nominated for the Godolphin Stud and Stable Staff Awards is it's an absolute honour to be recognised and to show especially people at home where I come from and um, that good things can happen and um, it doesn't matter where you're coming from as long as you put your head down and work hard for it anything can happen and, and like this this year has Last year has been a great year. I've done my family proud, I've done myself proud. Um, this, this, to be recognised, to be nominated, it's just a cherry on top. Um, it's, it's a wonderful thing. They stood in stables afterwards. It's wonderful for everyone in the in industry. And um, a, a big thanks does go to Godolphin for holding this, and a big thanks to Dermot Well for giving me the opportunities. You know, it's, just, it's an amazing thing, and I, I don't take anything for granted whatsoever.